Good morning, lovely people. The things that I do for you. Today is a perfect day for this. So, it's um, Friday, 7 o'clock in the morning, and we have ice. So, today is really, really cold, and that is extremely, uh, that is why I wanted to do this video today. So, no, you're not gonna see it. Anyway, uh, a few people asked in my group, uh, Arte for Cars, what is the difference between RTA measurements in a car when it's very, very cold and when it's very hot, so like summer and winter. And I think today is exactly what I'm gonna do because today I have like three degrees Celsius, I don't know how much is in Fahrenheit, three degrees Celsius uh, outside. It's a pleasant day, very nice day, but it's super, super cold. So what I'm gonna do now, while it's still cold, <laughs> I'm gonna put the RTA mic in there, which is warm from outside, from inside. I'm gonna take a measurement of pink noise. I'm gonna note the level on the director, so it's gonna be exactly the same. And after that, somewhere in the middle of the day, I'm gonna warm the car up, put the heating on, blast it on to like plus 30 degrees, so it's gonna be a big difference between, uh, a big temperature difference between those two measurements. And then I'm gonna do another measurement and then we're gonna comp compare. Okay, some prep work before we start. The power charger is on power supply mode, so I'll get constant 13.6 volts, so it's not gonna influence, the voltage is not gonna influence the measurement. I'm gonna put the mic here on the passenger side because it doesn't really matter because I'm not measuring RTA linearness, but I wanna see the differences because if I will have to go somewhere for some reason, I won't have to remove the mic and it's going to be in exactly the same position. And I will have a uh, cable running to the back, which is going to be for the sweep because I'm planning to do the sweep. Yeah, so let me bring my laptop and we're going to do the first measurement. Okay, so I did the first measurement. I kept the direct on minus 20, so I will know the level is exactly the same. And I had to do pink noise via the phone because routing is wrong for the um, uh, sweeps. So this is the measurement, the first one, yeah? So don't look at the linearity or anything because it's from passenger. So I'm gonna keep the microphone exactly the same position. And now I'm gonna chill for half a day uh, because it's already starting to thaw. See, the ice is already going, but it's still like four degrees probably Celsius. And yeah, after half a day, I'm gonna do another measurement with everything warm because now, the suspen suspension is stiff because it's just from the night. It was sitting all, all overnight and very cold. All the subwoofers are very co cold and everything is very, very cold and stiff. So we'll see if there's going to be a difference later on. And this is four hours later. Rain. So <laughs> this is literally typical British weather. So what I'm going to do now unplug this unplug this and this I'm gonna leave it inside and uh, yeah it's wet I need to plug this cap on there we go so now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna warm up the car I'm gonna leave it for I don't know half an hour I haven't touched I didn't go anywhere I'm gonna warm up the car and then we're gonna take another measurement. Okay, so this down. Okay. Max. High. Actually, not that high. Like that. Okay, so the highest. And there you go. I'm gonna leave it for half an hour or so. I'm gonna come back after half an hour. I'm gonna play some music to loosen up the speakers as well because now it's gonna be just the interior warm but the speakers are gonna still be cold. The amps are gonna be cold. So yeah, see you in half an hour. So it's been half an hour. Let's have a look. Is it warm? Is it not warm yet already? Uh. Okay, so no. Not yet. 
it still didn't reach the temperature so but it's warmer but it's not as hot so let's give another 20 minutes another 20 minutes have passed okay there we go 50 degrees plus is going higher so that means that it's blowing really hot air so I was looking for a thermometer but I realized I, I don't have any thermometers at home the only thermometer that I have is in this watch there we go and it shows at the moment I don't know if you can see it 22.9 degrees Celsius so 23 degrees Celsius so that's perfect because that's gonna be like if it's in the morning I had like three four degrees that means it's about 20 degrees difference and I think it's gonna be fine so now what I'm gonna do I'm gonna play some music on the almost full tilt for like another five ten minutes and then I'm gonna make a measurement and then we're gonna compare So, I'm ready to make a second measurement. I do believe that I have all the variables kind of eliminated and to leave the only difference is the temperature. So, my clock here shows, oh, it's very difficult to see, 26.9, which is close to 27 degrees Celsius. Uh, director. Uh, so, uh, engine is off, ignition on. I put the charge and power supply mode that gives me 13.6 volts the internal uh, DSP temperature is 40 degrees which is matches not matches 10 degrees difference but it's hotter so I assume amps are the same the music was playing for like 10-15 minutes again now I'm ready to make the second measurement I cannot do it live because I need the phone to play pink noise so let me get back to you in a second the measurement is done so I left the Helix on minus 20 as it was on the first one. We have 20 degrees difference, a bit more. I didn't save it yet because I wanted to do live just to compare it. So let me hit current and let's see the difference. SPL all 1020. Okay, so this is the difference. What do we see? Uh, the green one, so the red one is cold and the green one is hot. Yeah, I just renamed it there. The green one is, uh, the red one is cold, the green one is hot. Okay, so uh, straight away we can see that the green one has a high level. So I'm assuming it's a more sensitive. And let's apply smoothings to see a bit more clearer. Let's start with one third. Apply. So, what we can see is here at about 30 hertz, it's kind of the same. And then we have more level with hotter temperatures apart from 1.3K. And here is a bit more level, same, more level, same, more level. But like red has, if I go down, because I have IB subs, yeah, uh, it does down to 10. So when it's cold, you have a tiny bit more base below 30, but it's not much. But here, so the difference is, let's have a look. Uh, 30 and a half, 33. So I want to say two and a half, three dB difference in most places. Let's have a look at this one. 38, 40. So two, two to two and a half, some places maybe three dB difference in loudness when it's hot compared to when it's cold on the top end let's see 36 39 so 3 db difference so basically 3 db difference um so my conclusion just to summarize what i've done what i've done and what we see here here we're seeing the difference between uh 
four degrees Celsius and at the moment 27 degrees Celsius. So that's 23 degrees difference in temperature. And the, the red line is the speakers are playing totally cold, not break in uh, straight from the morning, straight when you turn on the car, extremely, extremely cold. And the green line is when everything is warmed up and everything is stretched out, all the spiders are warm and all the... Oh, I need to open the door bit because it's so hot inside. Oh my God. And what I see from this test is that you have overall a higher level. The only difference is, I want to say, in the base region, like below 45 hertz, below 40. So 40 is the same. And here is a difference. So the only difference I see is here, below 45 hertz. And at the higher frequencies a bit bigger difference as well but like in the mid-range between 45 and 1k all of this is kind of the same as just a different level so uh, the main question now is is it the different frequencies or is it the drivers themselves because i have uh, my sub two subs crossed between like at 45 hertz so this region is for the ib sub that's in the back and this region is for the upfront sub that's in here in the central console and then i have crossed a two and a half k so this is for the mid-range and this is all for the mid-range as well so i don't know what i would like to hear is some of your opinions what do you think about this and do you uh, experienced anything similar to these results but in general uh, my main conclusion is that with warm suspension when everything is warm you have higher level overall by 2-3 dB and a little bit more bass uh, when it's cold so a little less bass when it's hot yeah so I think yeah, because I was thinking, do I need a second tune for winter compared to summer? But I don't think so, because here you have just a few dBs difference, 3 dB on base. Maybe, maybe just increase the sub-level a tiny bit. But again, is it the speaker? Is it the frequencies? Is it the amplifier? Maybe the amplifier, because it's, a different, it's on a different monoblock, and all of these are on two different um, four channels. So, I don't know. Uh, yeah, comment, share what you think, and I will see you in the next one, guys. Bye.